Hello and welcome to the first podcast of The Ricky Show. And today I'm here with none other than the most famous, the most celebrated, the yeah, most honorable. Yeah! I appreciate it. Yeah, my brother. You don't know yeah, we have to big you up like that. You get me? Yeah, yeah, so, today, people, it's a first um, podcast. Um, as you see, Yuli is the first guest. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a lot of topics we're going to hit today. Serious topics and yeah, so. Yeah, man, you can ask me anything, man. All is good, man. As I say, yeah. So, we're here with Gilly, so let's kick it off like a ball. Mm-hmm. So, the first thing I want to ask you, my brother. Yeah, man. Right? Talk to me. As a deportee. <sighs> I believe you really like that word, deportee. You see, shut already. What do you all right. Yeah. So, so, yeah, all right. So as a port D, yeah, as a bad way, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, as yeah, a port yeah, D, yeah. right? Yeah. How was how was life growing up in in the US or in both places? Should say first, I just Jamaica. Since you, you yeah, my, yeah, my, my born and grew up Jamaica. Is it me? Yeah. Kingston nineteen. Is it me? You know, uptown um, Redditch Road side. That is it me? Oh, what are Cause um. We call it this summer, Reddish Road, water up this summer. Yeah. Anyways, I left Jamaica me about six, seven cars. Wa. It's a long story, you know, because you know, say, um, I left Jamaica me at six, but I never really my, I never my passport, I got America pan, you see me? Yeah. I'm a cousin, because we look alike. You see me? <laughs> Serious yeah. thing, man. Yeah. You see me? Yeah. So when we reach over there now, my papers end up come true. My papers ended up coming through from guy in Boston to get my docs for myself. Yeah. So I had to go back to Jamaica. You see me? I ended up staying on there for one year. You see me? And then my, I get my docs and I fly out, but they said, they said, they said week. You see me? Go back to America, go back to school and all type of things. You see me? Yeah. And I didn't forget my docs, you know. You see me? Long story short, my mother forget the date. You see me? Long story short, you see me? But we now put the blame on she, but at them time, I look up at me and me couldn't control it myself. You understand? Yeah. So, like, we didn't forget, we didn't forget on a Monday, we didn't go up on a Wednesday. You see me? So the process, the, the whole process have to start over again. Okay. You see me? So, in a, and in a the space that the process has start over, yeah. I start getting trouble and be things, you see me? Okay. At them time, you know, we are grew up and we are, you know? Yeah, as a young, as a yeah, young man. Yeah, I understand. So, so, oh, what do you mean? You mean when you was in um, America? Yeah, man, yeah, when I was in America, man. When I lived, after okay. I lived, I go back to America and I lived my teen years, years and I grew up on them things, they know, you see me? Yeah, yeah. So, so you basically was judged of being a youth, just being a youth and making mistakes. Yeah, man, yeah, man. You, you guys don't know. From that. You know, I hold up on mistakes to make a really okay. car. You don't know where I get a youth and you know the style. No, of it. in general, not even get a youth. Yeah, in man. general, as a teenager, or as a young, yeah, yeah, just a young man being, yeah, you see me? You will always make mistakes. Yes. You get me? So you was judged from that. Yeah, man, yeah, man. You don't know judge for that, cause all right. My father was a big drug dealer. I mean, now I glorify it, you know, see me? Yeah. But at them things, I'm grow up and I see, you see me? And they don't know the thing, you see me? When you, when you look at you, they want to be like daddy. You understand? And until you get wise and realize, say, you're a different road in a life. You understand? Yeah. But that they go on, man. And long story short, I end up. I got jail one and two times over there, but never no really do no serious time in a jail because they don't know. I never know no, no major. But when I time I get catch with seven pound, seven pound of weed, keys of weed, that them that say, you see me? And six and a half to be exact, you yeah. see me? And I end up do, I end up do 15 months in a jail, you see me? Then the boy and I say, I got immigration. And I do about, I do about two months in immigration and sign out, got Jamaica, you see me? Then I do about four and a half years in a Jamaica, then I come to Europe. Okay. Okay, yeah. so so you wanna you wanna elaborate a little bit more upon upon the the you being um you looking at your father as a mentor or you being a protege of your dad? Yeah man, yeah man. Cause when I grew up in um in that time then um 2000, 2001 them time then my father a big deal you know, and a fed kick in the door you now. Yeah, you see me when I got school early man. Cause I get up six o'clock I got school and. Fetch kicking the door and be a things, big rifle and be a things. My father, BMW and all type of things. And you see me, Fetch bring him to jail. And I'm going to see my mother and father in that Fetch, you know. Yeah, man, that's a serious thing, man. My life never really too normal, you see me? Okay. Yeah, man. My mother get catch up, bring back a whole heap of weed from California and she end up in the Fetch and she end up beat the case and one bag of things, you see me? So, 
the next question I want to ask you is compare those life to living in Germany. And when I say living in Germany, I'm talking on a broad prospect. Uh, you understand? On a broad aspect, not prospect, on a broad aspect. I want you to talk about papers, they're cheating um, refugees, uh, some, some refugees as if they don't have a life by not giving paper, not giving an answer for a few years. I'm talking life in general, you get me? Oh, oh you, you feel every day live, waking up in Germany, can't do what you want to do and uh, everything, just elaborate on everything. All right, it's, it's a mixed feeling thing for me, you know, right. AY. AY. Some days I'm happy, some days I'm not. Because here why now. Um, Alright, nothing really too bad at me. Nothing really too bad at me. You have to remember say, where I come from. I don't go, I go through worse at things and pass that in a life. So, yeah. them things, I me know I me can pass it too. You understand? So, I don't really too, you know, really too bring me down. You understand? But when you sit down a really pre life, you, know, you have to understand, say, Everybody have feelings in the dog and you see me? Hey, yeah, if for me a pre-life and you know they where you want it for the eyes. You don't know if I have pre-life certain way, man, and you have certain dreams and goals and you know, see, you know, see them things that come. You understand you have to, them things that bring you down, you see me, especially in a Germany cause. You don't know you don't know them them place are you don't know refugee type life and you see me, if you're not a man we are we are on to your own, you understand? Yeah. You see me and the people them, you know. No, it's a mixed feeling thing, dog. I tell you straight, dog. So you have a really strong minded. You see, if you're not strong minded, you're broke down and you're broke down and you don't even know what to say. So you know? I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even say you have to be strong minded because depression are like, like a large part of Germany, our German. Yes, um, yeah, yes, 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 yes. That's um, facts, that's facts. Thing that's is, facts. is depressed. You get me? So. When you say strong mind, I know a lot of Germans have strong mind, but still, when the, the, the season change and the system, the way the system is, you understand? I know a lot of Germans that are depressed. I know a lot of refugees that are depressed, including me, myself. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah. Like, um, I have a history from I was a teen with, with depression. Yeah, man. You get me? Because I always put so much on my head trying to to do so much and when yeah, I see I can't do what I want to do that makes me depressed when I see my parents struggling that makes me depressed yeah, yeah, you get me so you get me so being in a, in a country where the weather is shit most of the time um, the liberty is different the language barrier and remember you know even though I learn and I can speak German it's still difficult speaking with a lot of German because yeah, so not some native language. Yeah, some people, even when they see you as a black person speaking German, instead of they're amazed, a lot of them are, they start, it, they start talking in this, um, what, what, you, what would we say in, Jer in Jamaica, like dialect? Yeah, man. They start talking in their dialect. Yeah, and yeah, man. We, we, we didn't learn that when we was going um, to school. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You understand? We don't know those type of Germans. You get me, so sometimes they embarrass you, they, they, be, um, they, they start being racist against people and things. So it's a struggle. It's a struggle for a lot of people that live here. Yeah, man. For refugee um, people that get Every married. Black, for your black man, you have to go through the fire black people, period, man. In a Europe, man, you have to go face that, man. You understand? I just, you have to know, say, so you have to go through that, isn't it? Because it's, it's life, you understand? And yeah. Black people still have faced this from, from before me and you come at the them place, so before we even born, you understand? Them things are going on them land, yeah. so... Yeah, yeah, brother, to eat his own, you know, to tell you the truth, you know, so I'm not going to tell a man to do this because it works for me, you understand? So our, quest, our next question I want to ask you. Have you ever been depressed in Germany you mean? throughout your whole life? Oh yeah, I said that. You know, I, you are going. Me not a depressive person, because I'm not an apple cheerful person. Me, 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 if I see somebody depressed, I want to cheer them up. I, saw yeah, I know that. Um, but yeah, I enjoy when I come find myself like yeah, um, where, where that think the most depressive thoughts. Yeah. You understand? They are them places. I, I remember saying, yo, them places are not really, I'm not going to say the other places, but I say for, for, for um, really 15 and really try to say, yeah, go start a life. Yeah, so, Brother, them things are hard, brother, because you have to understand so there's a language and it's a race thing, you understand? Yeah. So, I will put a thing, I will put factors to it. 
You understand? We can't just say, yo, it's language, it's race. It's yeah, all about things to it, because all about man, black man come here and all about things going for them and them good. All about Africans, because this is the first destination for Africans where I come from. Africa, you know, yeah. Europe, Europe come like film America, we, as we are Jamaicans, you know. Yeah. You understand? So, you know, we, we come from Jamaica now, we look on it different than our African. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, so, uh, no, so, I, I, I've spoken to a lot of Africans, and um, the response I get from a lot of Africans, like, they don't like Germany, per se Germany. Mm. They like Germany for the money, because the in Europe, in the EU, Germany is the place to be when it comes to making money, when it comes to doing things and making money. You have a good Spain, economy. Spain is a tourist destination. When you make the money, you go to Spain. Enjoy it. France, um, the Eiffel Tower, the same thing. You get me and enjoy your money. But when, uh, when I speak to these people, they, these people telling me that, oh, bro, I don't like this country. This country make me depressed. This yeah, country yeah, make yeah, me yeah. feel this way. You get me? And I kind of I, I understand because I'm not an... Um, I, we're, we're basically, we're Africans, because that's what we're Yeah, man, we're um, all African, man. we're all African. Yeah, you get me? So, but, w w when I say different from African, don't get the twisted when we, like me, I try to separate black yeah. people. Most sure show you say, yo, we, our, Ameri our, uh, uh, our, we know America, yeah. you understand, coming from the West, because yeah, from that's, that side. That, that is the, the, the old model. The, yes, the, the, you understand. What, what, what they say? The land of the, the free and the, the old model. The old brave, isn't it? But, yeah, uh, the, the American dream. Yeah, I mean, Everyone in the world chase the American dream because even me going to England, a lot of people be like, yo, you, you went to England? Like, I want to go. I would never come back yeah, here. Yeah, I don't, yeah, but yeah, that's not me. Yeah, I want to travel everywhere where um, life can take me. You get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, what do you mean? So, so if it means I'm, I'm going through problems anywhere, I'll go and face my problems. You get me just to know that, okay, when my problem finish, yeah, you can live it's no issue life. for me to go back there. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the right way. Exactly. So that, that, that's my thing. So the next question I want to ask you, bro. What is one thing that you wish you never did in your life? One thing I wish I never did in my life? Yeah. That's a good question because I really don't think about stuff like that. You know? Yeah, so, that, so what's the one thing that you wish you never did? It's my, this is like, I have to think about that because I don't think... Um, it's one thing I wish I never did. Um... Um, to tell you the truth, the um, to tell you the truth, one thing I wish I never did, one thing I wish I never did. Just one thing. It don't have to be, it, 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 okay, it can be something that, that, that you life, your life was um, going um, down the good path, yeah? But then you made one mistake, mess up everything, you get me? It can be like, you know, all right, one so, thing, bigger man, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it 100. Yeah. This is the first thing that comes to my head. One thing I think, because my father is dead, you know, may he rest in peace. I wish I would have... Rest in peace. Bro. I would have, wish I would have... Because nobody knows nobody's going to die, you understand? So, yeah. sometimes we take people for granted, you know? Feel like yeah. they're going to be there forever, you know? So, yeah. I wish I would have, um, you know, been a little bit more so, uh, appreciative of them, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I wish I would have, you know what I mean? But yeah. I don't really live with regrets, but that's the, one of the only things I wish I would have... Been a little bit more appreciative with him, you know what I mean? Okay. And I was here, I, I don't got no. My life wasn't sorted out, so I couldn't go to the funeral, so I live with lots of pain, you know? So, where did he die? In, in America still? No, in Jamaica. In Jamaica? Yeah, man. Oh. So, you died when, he died when you was in America? No, no, he died in 2019. I was already here. Oh, in 2019. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, from, from the time you've been here in Germany till now, have, ever t have, have anything been improved in your life or is it the same or have it gotten worse? No, I wouldn't say it gotten worse and I wouldn't say it's the, it's the same. I would say, it's, of course I say it's better because you know you live and you learn, you understand? But um, it's just, uh, I don't know, I don't even really know how to explain it, man. It's just, yeah, everything is better because of course you come to a foreign country and you learn stuff about yourself that you didn't know. You understand? Yeah. And how to adapt and stuff like that. You understand? But, I mean, I wouldn't say it's worse, you know, because it could be worse. You understand? Because, so I say it's all, it's all good. Yeah, because that, that's, a major, that's a major point for me. You understand? When you say adapting, it took me so long to adapt mm -hmm. in, in, in Germany. Like, as someone growing up, I grew up with a lot of anger. 
like where I, where, where I grew where I grew up is like people used to tell me I'm not going to live to see 16 years mm -hmm. but kudos to you people I'm still here and I'm way 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 over 16 years old you understand but yeah, say that to say this is um it took me a long time. I've made so much mistakes in my life that up until this point, I wish I never did those things. Yeah, but... But it, it, that it is what it is. This is why you can't yeah. think... This is why it's hard to think like that, right? Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. This is why it's very hard to think like that. Because, right, for example, we, like, like what you just said, we wish we would have took the straight route, went to school, college, and became what, what you know, yeah. what, what you felt like you wanted to be. But then you wouldn't be this person you is right now. Yeah. So, so you have to be willing to trade who you is, not just what you missed out in life or what you did in life. You have to be willing, willing to trade your character and the person you is right now yeah. to, to, to live a whole different life. So you understand this shit is deep. And I to yeah, I totally you agree understand? with everything that you're saying. I totally get it. You get me? It's just that sometimes when you look at life and you look at things that you did and um, the, pla the places that you could have been, you mm -hmm. get me? And you're like, yo, bro, if I had done that, if I had... I mean, I'm not living with regrets. Yeah, you can't live with regrets. But you I'm believe in living. God. You believe yeah, in God. Yes, I do. So you believe everything's for a reason? Yeah, everything's for a reason. You get me? But sometimes... The reason at the at the time seems like yo bro, this doesn't make sense. You understand? And a lot of us don't have faith to stick it out to see what's at the end of the rainbow. Yeah, that's true, cause we we are humans. Yeah, you get me. <laughs> we are humans. Like when the burden come, like you're like, Lord, why me? We are humans, bro. We all we all stress and go through shit. So, yo bro, yo brother. It's, it's, it's a lot of shit to it because lots of people go through stuff in life and it's not really giving up. Brother, it's, it's not really giving up. It's like you, it's, I don't know, it's like people, it's like if you see something not working, you're going to keep doing it? You, you, you're going to no. keep doing it with the, with the hopes that it will change, right? Yeah. That, that's what they call faith, right? Yeah. That's what they call faith, right? Yeah. You, 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 when you see something not working, yeah. you're going to keep doing it with the hopes that it changed, right? Yeah. That's what they call faith. So I guess that's what you have to do. Because, <laughs> no. because you, have to, you have to think about it like this. Basically, a lot of people would think that I just started YouTube. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of people would think that, oh, um, he's a new person, so why should we let him in? Not knowing that this thing I've started, what, many years ago. Yeah, it takes time. It takes but, time. I was like me, I was depending on people to be there to help me. You understand what I mean? Construct everything and because this this place that we're in right now, yeah, well, you said something to me that bro, this thing that you're doing, it will work, but it will take longer than being in America or England or one of those English speaking countries. Yeah, I totally agree with everything that you're saying. Plus the people that the people that's supposed to be in, like we're supposed to form that that group that um not not group you know but you know that that um circle that we could say okay let my light bounce off you and your light yeah, bounce man, off yeah, me yeah, and yeah, we build together that's tough when you don't have anyone to do that with it's the location yeah get me so me now that's why you see no i'm like yo bro less depending on people and start more doing things yourself, content yourself. So that's why I reach out to you and I'm like, yo, bro, I want to start this. And mm -hmm. I want you to be the first person. You're, you're, you was quick to respond and say, yeah, bro, I'm done for it. Yeah, man, because I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a cool type of nigga. You know, I like to do new shit that we can, that's part, that's part. I can see the goodness in stuff before it really, I can see a, Bro, a girl don't have to be naked for me to know that she's sexy. You understand? Yeah. Like, you understand what I'm trying to tell you? I don't. I, I can see something that's gonna work before, before it even start working. You understand? So it's just, it's just the believing shit. You know? Cause I, I've been around niggas that's big, that's big now, nigga. I've been around niggas that's like I, I know a few artists that was when I met them. I used to. I mean. Yeah. Like, you understand? They wasn't. They didn't have nothing. You know? And then now them niggas they lit. Yeah. You understand? So I know this. It's just. You understand? It's just faith and hard work, bro. You put that shit in together, 
it'll work. And I think that it's just the beginning of what I'm doing. So it's just faith and hard work. You get what you get what I'm saying. So but the some, thing is, I'll have a lot more um, podcasts, um, series to do. This is just part one of part. Of yeah, but just part one, man. We a just, three we or just, four part series. We just we just chopping it up, you know. We you just get part me? one. We just we just holding a little conversation, you know, because we got some real stories to tell. We're gonna go down to some details and stuff and show yeah. you what's really going on, you know. But yeah, exactly. We just we just vibing with the people right now, letting them know. Yeah, you know what type of nigga y'all dealing with, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's all good. So, yeah. So so always always is life treating you as a Jamaican in Frankfurt, Germany. Me personally, you know, I'm a different type of nigga. I, I, you know, I, I, I got my lady, and you know, I, you know, I do. I don't I know. You have to tell. You, know I mean? <laughs> you have to tell me, bro. I, I don't know. Like, like, bro, I've seen a lot of men here, and I, it's not everybody's different. A lot, a lot of niggas not living good. Some niggas living okay. Some, you understand? So. It's, for me personally, a Jamaican in Germany, it's all right for me. Like, I, I mean, it's not hard to do most things that I want to do. Like, you understand? It's not like we run around broke or it's hard to get a girl or something. It's just, you just have to apply yourself. You understand? Yeah, you just have to apply yourself. I, I, I wouldn't agree with what you you're saying. No, I mean, you just have to apply yourself. I'm not saying it's the best, it's the best situation. No, but in terms, you have of, to make the, the, best in terms of the thing. girl, getting a girl, because... Mm. For, for a man like you and me, mm. it's probably easier. Yeah, probably easier. But, but no, I, and I wouldn't even say it's easier because a lot of a lot of guys that okay, people people, this is the 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 per se of Jamaicans when they see like a tall guy, tall nice, dark or handsome yeah. guy or white guy or whatever, get a woman and they're short or they're partly short. They're like. Um, Bro, I wish I had you right. I wish I had this. I wish no, bro. Woman like confident. Yeah, my. You see, confidence. Man. Woman love that shit. So you, when you know, cool, and plus you have to know to, to to bring the riz. You have to know to um, approach a lady with riz. You can't mm -hmm. go to a lady and be like, yo, hey, baby. No, that shit, that shit, that shit ain't gonna the work. The approach must be. That you shit know? ain't gonna work. That shit ain't gonna yeah, work. Yeah, the, the approach must be good, bro. And be yourself, you know. Yeah. So don't, don't try to be nobody else because nobody could be you. And a lot so of niggas don't. Yourself, and, a lot, and a lot of niggas don't know that, bro. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, yeah. But let's say that to say this. Tell the people. A fun fact about yourself that they don't know. That they don't know. That um, you would like to share with them. I pray every day. I pray every day. I, I can't. You know how some people could tell you that that they can't remember the last time they they prayed. Like so, I could talk. I could call one of my friends. Like, damn, bro, when was the last time you said a prayer? And he'd probably be like, bro, I don't remember. I don't remember the last time I said a prayer. Probably when my mother died or some shit or something. He probably said some shit like that. Yeah. You understand? Me, I'm the opposite. I can't remember the, the last time I. Didn't pray, you know. Okay, so That's prayer. You say you, you're so a godly man. So prayer day, keep the devil away. So you're a godly man. Then. Yeah, I'm a godly man. I mean, of course, I'm. I'm sitting here trying not to sin. Of course, you know, but I'm a godly person, you know. I'm yeah. a godly person. And the thing, the next thing too, bro. I, I like, like I, I've known this this guy for a few years now. I've known him for like what three, four years, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we know each other for uh, first and The first time I met him, it was my co cousin. Um, Akim, Alando. I don't yeah. know. Alando, you probably yeah. know him as Alando. Yeah, my cousin, he was his best friend, and then he introduced me to him. And from that day, he introduced me to him. The respect that I have for my cousin, um, it automatically came over to him and Pepsi. You get me? You know, it's but, energy. You know, it's energy, you know? Yeah, but the, 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 the bond that we, we have from back then till now, it's like, yo, it's amazing, brother. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's energy, man. You know the energy thing, man. You have to keep the thing. It's energy, bro, you know? It's just, and it's mad respect out for him, yeah? yeah mad respect, energy, mad bro, love, you know? bro. So, you get me? So, this, this, this is the type of thing that I'm, I'm trying to say, right? Me coming up with this idea, if he, if he don't believe in it, he would let me know, bro. Get away with I that. Wouldn't that, 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 that. I that wouldn't be here. That here. won't work, but you see... Here. You understand? If I, didn't, if I didn't have no faith in what the fuck you was doing, I didn't believe in your shit, exactly. I wouldn't be here. So I, I, like that, I like that straightforwardness. I don't, I want, keep it I don't it, want you to, to, to be telling me that, okay, come and do this. And this when I it. come, then no. it's a whole drama, nah. bro. Nah, bro. Nah, 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 I think I like this. Now, imagine now when this nigga get big and reach on a level, now I could be like, yo, wow, yo, 
yo, line up something for me. You know what I mean? I can, he certainly could work out. Because you remember I was there when you ain't had shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. that, so I like that type of, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's most, it's most definitely. And, and the respect goes out large, yeah, bro. You get me? So, as I say, bro, we're moving on right now. Yeah. Right? Right along. Where do you see yourself in the next, say, year or so? You think that you're going to be right working, now I got a few for, working personal for, goals. like, working for people or owning your own business or what? I got a few personal goals right now. It's personal between me right now, you know? Yeah, um, you don't have to... I got a few personal to. goals. I'm trying to get my life together because right now my life is in bits and pieces. Shambu. I'm trying to put it a piece it together, you know? Yeah. But... You know, if when you got life, everything is possible, you know? So I'm just trying to do the right thing, you understand? There ain't nothing, really, ain't nothing that, that's impossible. So I'm just trying to do, get my life together, really. For a year and a half from now, I should be more comfortable, you know? I, I'm trying to get my driver's license, because, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I'm owning, a, owning, owning a car in Germany, like, bro, it is the, 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 the burden that it takes off your shoulder, yeah, bro. Man. It's like... Whenever you're you're just feeling moody or down yeah, or depressed, you just jump in your car. You like take a ride, you man. just drive, bro. And yeah, you don't know yeah. where you're going. You just drive until you decide. Yeah, okay, drive, well, yeah, I, I just need to go back now because I, I, I'm far enough. Now. Yeah, you get man, me? free up the mind, you know. Yeah, so that that's the, that's the whole point of me um, buying a car. Free up the mind, man. That's understand. You free get up me? The mind. Yeah, that's all the point of me buying a car because sometimes I don't even like, bro. I'll, I'll just be home, and I'll be like, yo. If I had a car, I would just maybe drive to maybe Berlin for four hours. So that's why I say appreciate yeah. everything when you have it, man. Don't wait for things to, for you to lose something for you to appreciate, you know? Yeah, so what's a new year resolution? Because we're like, what, 13 days in, into the new year? 14, 14 days into the new year. 14 days in the new year. Um, I'm just trying to be better than I was last year, man. I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna sit here and preach to you. I'm just trying to be a better nigga than the nigga I was last year. Okay. I mean, and that's just what it is. And live with more love and and stop, you no, know, stop letting words affect me when people talk. Like, cause it's not. Yeah. You understand? Just, yeah. just try to be a better person. You understand? Cause I'm just trying to be better than I was last year, man. I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to be better than I was last year. And, more active and productive. I'm not trying to waste time, you understand? Because life goes fast and we only have one life to live, you understand? So just live it to the best of your ability, you know what I mean? You hear me? So, say that, to say this, no, we're not gonna do too much because the lights are going. So, say that, to say this, now we've come to the end of the first podcast. This is part one of a part three or four series with Gilly. You get me? We have more details. Yeah, but what about details? I've got some stories, man. Some American stories, and and we have lots of stories, man. So we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna, gonna plug up and tune in. So people, we'll see you people in the next series. Please make sure you subscribe. Yeah, make man. sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. You understand? Once you like the video, we're up in the algorithm. So make sure you like the video. We're out. Peace out.